words to close here about if you're planning on starting your own lab, what should you consider? What, what do you have to think about? Well, you should have a dedicated space. The space should be quiet. You don't want heart rate and blood pressure responses resulting from, from noise, which, which does happen. Uh, you want some form of, of temperature and humidity control. Um, and you need adequate space for a couple of technician and a physician to be around the table, the till table with the equipment. So we figured that about 250 square foot is, is adequate. Um, you need testing equipment. Equipment is available commercially as entire packages or individual components that you can put together yourself uh, if you so desire. Um, and uh, what you basically need is listed here. Um, you need uh, some form of measuring humidity uh, for the QSART. You need a stimulator for the anthropheresis. You need an EKG monitor, blood pressure device, way to measure respiration, ideally a tilt table. Uh, and then you need software for data acquisition, data analysis, and then eventually somehow get it into the medical record. Uh, in terms of personnel, uh, depending on how many labs you're looking at, if you just have one lab, it would probably be ideal to have two technicians. It's much more efficient uh, to do the testing with two technicians. And a physician should be there at least for supervising the tilt. And then, of course, for the analysis of the test.